what's up everybody easy here coming to you live from easy street bringing you uh, another clash of clans video this one's on some uh, this is just a great defensive uh video from the last war we had uh part break and loss really we lost by one star we're not gonna get into that right now though but 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 we had some highlights one of the highlights we had were, was nirvana got attacked seven times until they finally three starred her She's a Town Hall 9. I'm gonna expose the base on YouTube. Uh, she'll probably be a little pissed about that. But I've said it before. Uh, you know, down the road, when I have m uh, m my million subscribers, like some of you other people out there, then I won't put our bases out there because there's so many people watching. But right now, I'm not too too worried about it. If I happen to catch someone uh, in the other clan, if they happen to catch the video and then attack Nirvana, well, best of luck to them. <laughs> okay, so Put a little pause in this first attack just to, sh to briefly break down I'm going to show you some of the mistakes they made on attacking this base because this is a Town Hall 9 base When you're attacking it with Town Hall 10 troops, you should be able to 3 start First mistake they made was right there in the first attack They put two Golem in, they put them both right on top of each other And then they just pile drived her with all these other troops They put the Bowlers in, they put the, uh, Valkyries in, Wizards in, all in the same exact spot so the first thing that happened was the wizard spread out and got blasted by all of the outer wall defenses because there was nothing in front of them to stop them from getting the aggro from those outer defenses. Uh, the, you need to, you really need to put the the golem in in a specific way when using golems in an attack. You don't want to put them both in in the same exact square because if you do that, then they're not protecting anything. They're just there. So that was the biggest mistake they made in that attack, but it started off wrong, it finished wrong. Uh, this base has a pretty good design to it. It's got this little, uh, this little passageway in the, in the middle, and then there's two big compartments on each side. This, is, this design is a unique design, but it's based on a, a fairly popular design where they put the infernal towers or they put the archer, I mean, uh, the, the crossbows in a compartment all by themselves. And by doing that, it's troops don't get attracted to it very easily, so they get a lot of time to, to sit there and pick off troops, uh, kind of off by themselves. So that was the first attack. I'm not going to show you all seven attacks. I think I got five of them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, including the one that they three starred, uh, because that was a great attack. Now, even though it wasn't us, uh, I wanted to show that too. Okay, so this is a second attack here, and just give me a second. I've actually got to, I want to stretch out the screen so maybe I can actually see it and get my glasses on. So, give me one sec. That's professional right there. Live and asking you to wait. Okay, so, we'll pause, we'll pause this one here for a second too. This is very similar to the first attack where they have, you see how I'm circling right there? They have all the troops going into that one little spot. There, and again, it's two, two Golem going in, a bunch of Valkyries. We got some Hog Riders going in right there at the beginning of the attack to take out some of those outer defenses. And now here they all go down this passageway down the middle. They bring more Hog Riders in on the, on the right hand side. So for those that know how to do the, the Hog Rider attacks, this is not how you do it. Just for those of you at home that don't know, Really you you want to attack from one direction and bring the hog riders in the on the on the other direction That's how I've seen it done most successfully um, They did a fairly good job with the heal spells keeping the, the hog riders in the heal spells But they just the, the attack was just off from the beginning now They managed to get a pretty high percentage too, but let's see here. I, I can't see the levels uh, You know I suck sometimes I really do can't see the levels of the heroes because the screen is so small but i believe that most of the heroes that were attacking her were in the in the 30s so that those are pretty high level heroes attacking this little town hall nine and they've got her around 60 percent right now they've got a couple trash buildings they're going to be able to pick up and pick up that percentage but this obviously not going to go anywhere so 64 percent now i can see the heroes level 20 queen 18 king those troops that they have that could have three star that base have done right and this clan was an excellent clan i mean they had some superstar attackers but not on that base <laughs> so up next 
is the next fail. And I believe this is another Town Hall 9 attack. And it's another Goho or Gobaho attack. They tried several of the Goho or Gobaho attacks. And, and now this one right here started off a lot better. Now you see how they put the two Golem in. They, they spread them out. And, and now the Wizards come in. And you notice the Wizards don't take any, uh, any, any fire at all. So all the Wizards are still alive. They get all the outer trash buildings. Now they're going into the in, inner trash buildings. And the uh, first layer of defenses. They start taking out those defenses. Those buildings. The Golem are working their way in. They drop the poison spell perfectly. The Clan Castle troops will go right down with those. Because these are balloons. Uh, balloons don't live through, through poison spells. Now, now they drop all the Valkyries. Uh, they've already seen the base several times, so they know that there's a Tesla farm right there. So, the problem with this attack was that even after seeing it, now they bring in all, all the Hog Riders like the last attack. The problem with this attack is, was their spell usage. If they had brought one jump spell and drop, dropped a one jump spell right there in the middle, right, right where those uh, Teslas are, to where they you can cover... That compartment with the Teslas are the center compartment and then the other compartment you can cover literally You know 40% of the base with one jump spell instead. They have the troops trying to beat their way through the walls uh, The hog riders didn't last all the way through the base and they still have a heal spell left So now you're holding on to spells Where you should have already used them now the hog riders go through a compartment that has all the giant bombs and so they're gone and even though they're going to probably take out all the defenses, there's so much, um, so much base left. So let's see what happens here. Because this is the first time I've, I've actually watched this attack. Okay, so now uh, what's going on is they have Valkyries that go in the wrong direction. There's one Wizard Tower left. Looks like the Wizard Tower is, is attacking a Golem. Because it's just going on and on and on. Yeah, that was a Golem because it just exploded in, in a... And I saw a few coins fly in the air, so that was the golem's death damage. And so now you have Valkyries going around the top. We'll fast forward through this, because we know this isn't a three star. They're just going to run out of time. And this is another, th the problem with this attack, not only do they need that jump spell, but they, they did the, the spam attack with the hog riders. Instead of using a, a surgical attack, and dropping two or three hogs on each of the defenses that would have get, given them enough to put a hog rider or three on that wizard on that wizard tower that was left. So here's another attack. This is a town hall 11 attack. Now when they attacked her with the town hall 11, we knew that this was going to be it. That they were finally going to get her. This is the sixth attack on her base, and they bring two golems right on top of each other. They bring giants with the golems, kind of unorthodox, but okay. Uh, they bring in the, the queen with the, the warden. That's, that's really common. So, so far, you know, kind of worrisome. Uh, bring in bowlers, but now the first thing they missed, no wizards. So they brought a bunch of giants in, but no wizards. So that there was nothing to take out those balloons. So now the balloons are just dropping like crazy on, on top of all the giants. And I think right now all the giants are gone already. There's still nothing to shoot the balloons down. So they dropped on a bunch of the bowlers. They, were, they went down. The bowlers separated. And one thing that bowlers have to have, we all know this, you gotta have heal spells or you have to have the healers on those bowlers. They don't have heal spells, they don't have the healers on them. We have a rage and a jump, that's just not gonna cut it. You can't, you can't expect bowlers to, not even, they won't even get through a Town Hall 9 without some assistance from a heal spell or the healers. My dog is going crazy, I'm going to choke him. Okay, I'm back. For the record, I didn't choke the dog. I wanted to, but he just cries. He's a 170 pound Great Dane, and he cries like a two year old little girl when he, when he doesn't get his way. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, so back to the attack. Uh, got the warden left. Now, this is what I loved about this attack. And in comes the clan castle troops. A uh, little behind the rest of the pack, and they come in with a golem and a giant that do literally no damage at all. They stroll their way through the whole entire base, even if, even if those were uh, two P.E.K.K.A. or two of the fastest troops in the game, they would not eat through all these things in the minute that they have left. Not even with the rage, not even with the jump. Um, so I, I, I'm gonna, I'm guessing that he was underestimating the base and was trying to save his clan castle troops. I would really hope they didn't forget to the end, but I would have just. To save face, not even put him in. Just 
just to accept the fact that you, that you lost and not drop the golem with a minute left after all the bowlers are gone. <laughs> Whoops. Town Hall 11. I believe they kicked him for that too. Just for the record. <laughs> Either that or he left because he left the clan right after the attack. So, okay, now this last attack. So, and, you know, I, I was debating on whether or not to even show this. But I... But I'm proud of, uh, of Nerf for, for lasting this long. I mean, seven attacks on, on a Town Hall 9. There was two Town Hall 10s, one Town Hall 11. Now, this is a Town Hall 10, uh, uh, Town Hall 10 uh, Laloon. And they, they did this particular attack to a bunch of our bases, and they three-starred every time with it. So this is the positive part. I know this is done on us, and I, I very rarely will, will show attacks done on us and explain the positives from it all. But I just want you to watch the way they enter the base with the queen. They use a, they use a jump to get the queen into the base. They have five healers on her. They poison the clan castle troops. She easily handled the clan castle troops. And now she's going to get into the, into the second set of walls, take out um, Nirvana's queen, and then take out an air defense. Take out all the storage and take out that whole compartment, pretty much. Meanwhile, there is a there there is a uh, a crossbow, level three crossbow, beaten down on her. And then she's gonna turn around and take out the second air defense. So that queen got a ton of value out of her. She she comes in, takes care of the clan castle troops, takes care of the queen, takes care of two air defenses. I believe two air defenses. I have I'm like stunned because I, I believe I thought she had taken out two air defenses Maybe she doesn't or maybe she helps everybody at the last second there. She is right there. So tons of value out of the Queen and so This this is a great attack to use on bases that you see that that all four air defenses are kind of near the core So if you can get into the compartment that's in between two air defenses Use, use a jump spell you can expend a bunch of, of spells because you're gonna take out two of the air defenses, and you can actually save on the lava hounds. You, you can bring in two lava hounds instead of bringing three, and then bringing one more in the clan castle. You could probably do the entire attack with two, and you, that means you can bring extra um, balloons just to ensure that you'll you'll get all the defenses, and you can really beef up on the balloon stage of the attack because you know the queen can come in and take out two air def uh, two air defenses fairly simply. And after all those attacks, they made it look real easy. But it was a Town Hall 10 on a Town Hall 9, you wimp. <laughs> so, great job for Nerv. Really proud of her. Been really improving. We had a, uh, The last video was actually featured her too. Um, she's been really uh, buckling down on her clashing. Got a bunch of great attacks from her. Got some good defenses from her. I'm not just doing this because she lives with me. Okay. I promise <laughs> maybe a little but anyway just want to thank everyone for watching built up to 80 something uh, subscribers uh, not not so not too bad for a couple months so really proud of where we're going stick with us we got a bunch more videos coming we're trying to put out at, at least one every couple days I don't want to overwhelm everyone with one every single day but we want to put out one every other day maybe so uh I appreciate everyone, so until next time, it's been easy.